Well, 2020 SHOT Show, love them knives, we're here. We don't have any beer, but we're gonna get some soon. Hey, Andrew's buying, yes he is. What? And he's with Kershaw, gonna tell us about some of the knives from Kershaw, both USA made blades and some of the import blades that are a little bit more value oriented. And uh, tell us about what you have on the table today, Andrew. Yeah, so up first, I wanna show you guys a fixed blade. This is the Kershaw Camp 5 in our Camp series. We've got a full tang D2 steel fixed blade with kind of a tr more traditional buoy shape. We've got glass filled nylon handles. In between the texture on the handles and the jimping on the blade, you should be able to get a pretty solid firm grip on this knife. Really happy with how that turned out. We also have a great glass filled nylon sheath that goes right along with that. Great thing about the sheath is it's got slots for straps. Uh, it's a pretty sturdy, simply built sheath that should be pretty rugged and hold up pretty well. This knife was, when we designed it, we put a lot of time into the sheath to make sure that you can carry it upside down if you want to put it on a molly vest or a backpack. Cool thing about it, it goes in really easily and it holds in there pretty good even without the secondary retention strap. We have that there in case you want to use it for that extra security, but you don't really need it. And basically what you do, you press down on this tab right here, you press down with your thumb, pull up with the knife, and it comes right out. Basically what that does is it just splits that sheath right open so you can get it out. It's a simple mechanism, isn't going to break, no moving parts. Uh, yeah, that's the Kershaw Camp 5. All right. Up next, we're going to start with some more of our, our value, value Kershaw stuff. We've got, first up we have the gravel. This is an 8CR13 MOV blade, so that's like our, our mid-tier uh, import steel. It opens with speed safe. Nice thing about this, super, super slim profile overall, so that's really going to disappear in your pocket. I'm calling this one the mini workhorse uh, because you've got a blade that's going to be really good for getting work done. Opens with speed so so very easy to deploy one-handed. It's got a black wash finish on it, so it's going to hide scratches and wear really well. You see it's a frame lock, so it's got a secure lockup. Deep carry pocket clip, works on both sides. Great option, that's the Kershaw Gravel. Up next we have the Valve. This is a starter series knife. It's actually one of my favorite ones that we're bringing to the show this year. It's a small knife, but it fits really well in the hand. You can get three fingers on there really well, and there's a good groove up here um, for your thumb, some jimping on there. Opens with speed safe, steel frame lock knife, pretty sturdy. You're gonna be able to get a lot of work done with that. And it comes in, MSRP is only 35 bucks on this, so it's a pretty good deal for what you're getting. You got a single position, deep carry pocket clip as well on that. All right, up next, this one's been really hot for us this year. We dropped this at Blade Show this year, um, or maybe just after Blade Show. This is the Kershaw Static. It's a cleaver style blade. You can see we've got a bright finish on that 8CR13 MOV blade right there. It opens on ball bearing washers. It is a steel handle frame lock and has a two position deep carry pocket clip. Up next, we've got four knives that are a little, they're still imports, but they're a little higher end. All of these knives have D2 steel. Uh, and some other features that make them pretty interesting. First of these, another one of my favorites from this year, this is the Kershaw Highball. It's a really slim, elegant, gentleman carry knife. Opens really smoothly on ball bearing washers. It is a steel frame lock. And if you take a close look at that, the lock bar slot on the back there is really narrow. That's something that we see on a lot of custom knives and a detail that we wanted to add to this. To just, it, a lot of the small details on this knife really give it a feeling of quality. Uh, you can see as well, single position pocket clip. We've got some really cool anodized aluminum trim rings there on the back. I also really love the fine jimping on the spine here. It feels really good in the hand. This machine groove in the blade is just beautiful. Also makes it really easy to open. We even have a chamfer on that frame lock, lock bar down there. So this is a knife you definitely want to hold if you go to a store and you can find it. It feels really, really good in the hand. Great action and also a really slim, elegant profile. This is the highball. Okay. Up next, we got the Kershaw Norad. This is a really eye-catching knife. One of the best things about this knife is that it has a hidden flipper. But when it's in the closed position, the jimping is really good on that, so you can still get a really good grip on that jimping, and it opens right up. It opens on ball bearing washers. Really great action on this one. You can see this also has a machine groove in it. Really beautiful detail. Hidden flipper, custom pivot. We got carbon fiber inlays in there. It is a steel handle frame lock. Once again, we have that narrow lock bar slot. Two position deep carry pocket clip. One thing that's also notable about this knife, because it opens on 
ball bearing washers, a lot of times those knives are very sensitive on the lock bar, and if your fingers get on there, it can be pretty difficult to open. So we dropped the top half of this handle down a little bit, and there's even this pad here, so it's kind of telling you to get your fingers off the lock bar right on there. It should make it really easy to open. Again, a really great knife, D2 steel, just like the highball. Um, really great option uh, from Kershaw. That's the Kershaw NORAD. Okay. Up next, we've got a Sinkovich design. This is the Kershaw Tumbler based off of his Headley model. We've got D2 steel, opens on ball bearing washers. The nice thing about this knife is that it's really lightweight and it's really classy. So if you wear it with slacks, it's not going to tear up your slacks. Probably won't even notice it's there. But it's got a pretty sizable blade on it with D2 steel. It is a subframe lock, so you get that steel lockup that you need while still having G10 and carbon fiber. And so G10 and carbon fiber, this is not a carbon fiber sticker. That carbon fiber top layer is compressed when they make the composite with the G10 so that you get the carbon fiber look at a little bit lower price than if it was full carbon fiber. Now, I wanted to ask you about this, Lee. We've talked a little bit about how you love knives to be symmetrical front to back. Yeah. How do you feel about the subframe lock on here? Oh, I like it. That's yeah? fine. That's that works fine. all right? Yeah. Very cool. Um, I like the deep carry pocket clip. Is that reversible? It is indeed. It works on the back as well. You just take this screw out on the back there and you just roll that clip on over to the other side. Oh, no problem then. Yeah. So yeah, that's the Kershaw Tumbler based off Dimitri Now Sinkovich's if you move that pocket clip, is there a screw underneath that holds that subframe in place? Yeah, so the only screw holding this clip in right now is the one on the back right there. Okay. The screws that hold the subframe are going to be underneath you can't you can't see them they're just hidden underneath this clip and they're right independent of the pocket clip so totally yeah you can see that I'm, I'm sorry yeah yeah no you're good no it's but yeah good yeah to ask that's good because that was a bit on the natrix yeah 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 and that was something we looked at and something that on this will not you won't have to worry about that at all okay great and something that we did dial in on the natrix as well yeah we, yeah once yeah we worked on for a little bit I didn't know. have any problems on mine but there was some early on but yeah for sure for sure all right, the last one that we've got is the Kershaw Payout, the last one from those high-end imports. This also has D2 steel. Uh, unlike the other ones, this one is actually assisted. It opens up with SpeedSafe, and that sits under a steel bolster on the front. We've got Machine G10 on the back there, D2 blade, about three and a half inches, steel frame lock knife, pretty solid build. We've got some really nice anodized aluminum details. We've got that over-travel stop right there. We have a aluminum tooth spacer on the back, and we have a pivot collar right there. So yeah, it's a really nice knife. We've got a single position deep carry pocket clip. What I like most about this knife, I think, is that it is a pretty crazy shape, um, but whether you have small hands like mine or larger hands like Lee's, it'll, it'll fit pretty well. You said your hands were a little snug on it, so yeah. it could probably stand to be a little bit larger. But they were in there. But it was in there. So definitely a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool knife to pay out. Um, yeah, so let's talk USA knives. Okay. So up first, we want to talk about... There's some about exciting stuff you have in the USA line, so yes. There is. And we're going to go Balasong, Butterfly. We've got the Kershaw Lucha. Uh, we used to make Butterfly knives as an OEM, um, but this is the first, this is the first like, Kershaw, Kershaw um, Butterfly knife. And it's really smooth. It opens on KVT ball bearing washers, uh, which is really nice. It's a really fast knife. You've got four and a half inches of 14C 28 in blade steel on there. It even flares up at the end to give you a little bit more weight. Uh, we spent a lot of time in development on this talking to people who are flippers to really try and dial in that balance so that it's something that they, that they would like. This is 410 stainless steel handles there. That was some uh, weight relieved out of them. Again, trying to get that balance for you when you're flipping it. We even have on the back, this latch has been contoured over the top so that it should jump out of the way when you're when that closes. Sometimes those latches will stick, uh, but this one's designed so that it should jump on out of the way when you're flipping it. So yeah, that's the uh, Kershaw Lucha. Uh, something else, as we talked about in the ZT video, this is a Kershaw original design, and you can tell by that logo that we've got in there on the back of the blade. Excellent. So, yeah, really happy with this knife. This knife is going to come in at 190 MSRP. Uh, so for what you're getting, it's a pretty good price for a USA made butterfly knife. So yeah, yeah that's, the, that's the Lucha. Up next, we got a couple of autos. In the past, we've really done two things with automatics. We've made pretty large ones, about three and a, 
three and a half inch blades, and then we've made the California legal ones. And we wanted to kind of bridge that gap with these two. So on the Launch 12, you got a two and a half inch blade, and on the Launch 11, you have a two and three quarter inch blade. Let's talk about the Launch 12. This is a matte diskin design. It's the baby brother to the Launch 8 that we released last year. Really happy with this. USA made automatic knife, CPM 154 blade steel. We've got 6061 aluminum handles. As you can see, reversible pocket clip. It looks really, really nice. And we kept that carbon fiber inlay as well. I'm really happy about that. The action on this knife too is just fantastic. I mean, it cracks open. Uh, really, really good action and a really classy looking little knife. I like the looks. Thanks, man. Uh, yeah, so that's the Launch 12. Now we have the Launch 11. This is a, a Kershaw Originals design, USA made automatic knife. CPM 154 blade with a black wash finish, 6061 aluminum. This even has a titanium trim ring on there with a bronze anodized finish, uh, which is a, a nice. nice detail. I really like the overall profile of this knife and we've taken a little bit of weight out of the center there as well. As you can see, we've got a straight inline clip and this works on the front as well as the back. That's the Kershaw Launch 11. Very nice. All right. So obviously, if you are familiar with knives, you're familiar with the leak, it's the iconic Kershaw. Uh, copper has been really popular lately, so we wanted to bring you one with copper handle scales. So this is legit copper. Um, it is a, obviously, a leak is a USA made knife, opens with speed safe, CPM 154 blade. If you know knives, you know the leak, uh, but we wanted to show it to you anyways with that new copper finish. Very nice, yeah. There's some people collect leak knives. I mean, they're just like into leak knives. Yeah, yeah. Word. I Words. got a buddy in Jamaica that does that. Shout out to him. But yeah, I mean, this would be one he'd, he'd want in his collection. Excellent. Well, yeah, it's definitely, uh, if you collect leaks, this is definitely for you. Oh, yeah. All right, we got two more knives to talk about with you here. First up, we have the Link. Uh, obviously, this knife also, we've, all, we've made this model before, but we upgraded it pretty significantly. We've got some new machining on the handle scales to give it an updated look. Uh, and best part about this, though, is the blade. We have 20 CV blade steel on this. So the same steel that we have on our ZTs, we've got on a knife that's going to retail MSRP 130. So this is a pretty good, pretty good price for what you're getting. This is an inline item. has a deep carry pocket clip on the back. It works on the front as well as the back. That's the link. And it's going to be in that color. Yes, it will be in this olive green I color. I like that color. Yeah, I like awesome. that color. I think it's a good color choice. Thanks, man. Yeah, I like it too. It fits really well. It fits the, uh, the dividend, I think, really well also. Overall, this knife, to me, has a very, like, a Warbird aesthetic, like throwing <laughs> back to, like, the yeah. old World War II planes. Yeah, uh, it does. Especially with that tooth pattern on there. Uh, obviously, this is a composite blade. We've made the dividend before, of course. It's probably my favorite USA Kershaw. Um, but this time, we're upgrading the steel on this too. We've got CPM D2 along that blade edge there. Composite blade with N690 on the spine. We've got a same thing like with the link. We've freshened up those handle scales a little bit for you. Uh, and it has that green, olive green color. USA made, deep carry pocket clip on the back. This one's really crazy. If you take a look at that clip, that, that has a really deep carry pocket clip, and the yeah. dividend is already really slim. So this is definitely one that will disappear in your pocket. So that is, yeah, that's the Kershaw dividend. Tip up, tip down, right and left. Yep, we got holes, screw holes in all the spots that you need for that. Nice. I, I think that's very interesting uh, composite blade. Yeah, it's, it's very eye-catching to me. Yeah, sure. it is. Awesome. Well, that's all I got, Lee. You got any questions for me? No. Uh, how many can I take with me when we go? <laughs> we'll talk about that after the video. <laughs> All right. Hey, thank you so much, Andrew. I mean, it's been a pleasure, as always. Same. Thanks for coming by, man.